morning, folks. We've got a bit of sun watching to do here at first, then we'll see a story relating back to the Starlink failure in February, leading into today's top story. We have not had much in the way of solar flaring. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm. We see only minor plasma activity at the active regions and plasma filaments. We can see that the sunspots have the juice to surge plasma within their confines and along immediate magnetic fields, but the power to eject considerable plasma has been absent on the Earth-facing regions. We're quiet for now. Our first story, again, jumps back to February, when a minor solar storm occurred and several Starlink satellites failed during launch. We have seen papers on the atmospheric density changes, but we now also have the magnetic readings being published, including the occurrence of a deep magnetic depression and inverse polarity region. This isn't all that unexpected with major solar storms like the 2003 Halloween storm, or those in September of 2017, but the little event in February shouldn't have done this. We've said now for 10 months, this was not a good sign for Earth's weakening magnetic field and that it was indicating our increased vulnerability to even minor space weather events. So what happened at the end of last month is a step further. ICON is one of the newest and best satellites studying the ionosphere. Its data collection pattern and scientific devices make it the perfect tool for learning more about space weather impact to the ionosphere, the ceiling of the global electric circuit, and also for the overall health of the electric layers of the upper reach as our field continues weakening in the ongoing pole shift. A very minor coronal hole stream occurred on November 25th, which really didn't even cause a solar storm, minor or otherwise, coinciding with the loss of communication with the ICON satellite, and they're looking at a very possible system failure. This would be unthinkable during normal magnetospheric conditions, but with Earth's magnetic field on the decline, the plasma penetrations, ionospheric excitement, and magnetic depressions are increasingly risky for those satellites. And folks, if the SpaceX event in February was a surprise, this is something of a jaw dropper for the Earth system. Our best hope is that it was a random anomaly that happened to be perfectly timed with the onset of the plasma stream, but that seems highly unlikely. Note the moment, folks. This would be a new epic of satellite risk in the ongoing geomagnetic excursion, with sunspot maximum knocking at the door of 2023 through 2025. We greatly appreciate.